shall be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Did I? The, the problem is about it like you no know, pause out die daily. I'm moving away from myself. And you know what you talked about last Sunday and Sunday before? We talked about I want rest in him. I'ma cease working in my own ability. And start resting, you know, allowing his power to manifest in my life daily. So I think if, if we sit there and try to depend on him to come when I need him, then I'm not exercising my faith. And, and one of the things I'm talking about the fact is daily, and I'm gonna show you something in a minute was, Jesus said, my father's always with me. My father always hear me. On that Amen. talk, we never heard all that walk through Jesus. We even doing his being crucified. We didn't hear nothing complain until God, because of what he did, putting the sins of the world on him, turned his back on him. And guess what? You know what you remember he said? My God, you, you know said, that's speaking name. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Yeah. Are you with me? Other words, God wants to be in our life daily. Now, in, in, in the goat, let's get a couple of scriptures in just to for the people that's listening. We get a couple of scriptures in to, to just clarify that. You, you see that, then brother, give us these scriptures that backs up the fact that we live by faith. Okay, in back of two, four. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yes, sir. Romans 117. <clears throat> For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Yes, That's sir. referring back to back to four. Come on, man. Come on. Brother. Galatians 2.20. I am crucified with Christ. Amen. Nevertheless, I live. Yes. Not I, uh -huh. but Christ liveth in me. Uh -huh. And the life which I now live yes, in, in the flesh, uh -huh. I live by the faith of the Son of God Woo. who loved me. Come on. And gave himself for gave me. himself for me. Glory to God. Woo. That's awesome. I got to read that again. Come on. I, I gotta write that down. I, 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 I'm gonna have to meditate on that. Ooh, I like that too. Let me say, I'm crucified with Christ. Paul said, I died daily. I, I'm trying to move myself out of the way. I'm gonna move myself out of the way. Nevertheless, I yes. live. Yes. Woo! Galatians 3.11. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. Come on now. It is evident. It is evident. For the just what? shall live by faith. Come on, bro. Hebrews 10, 38. Now the just shall live by faith. What? If any man draw back, what? my soul shall not have no pleasure in what? him. Oh, Lord. So, so in other words, I, 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 he, he is trying to tell us that if you don't live by faith, if, if you you draw back by faith, then, then, then I, I, he has no pleasure, in it, right? He because I think in Hebrews eleven six, he said the just he said uh, what he said the just shall live by faith. Or any man he said, well, yeah, not long. You know I used to quote that by heart. Let me get that up for a second. I used to quote that by heart too, and I'm sitting there I can't even quote it. So that's all right. That's what the word is for, right? Amen. That's right. Amen. It says in Romans 6, I just read it to you. But without faith, there it is. But it without is impossible. What? 
It is impossible. It is impossible. It is impossible to Come please on. God. Come on, bro. He said, but he And there's that one. Uh, I can't remember where it is. Uh, and I'll show this to people it says, who want it. It says, uh, Ah, I can't remember. It, it, it's 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 not talking about faith. I'm just okay. I was thinking of something. It just it just went along with that. They that worship the word, the Lord must worship Him in spirit and in it, truth. It, it, truth. I mean, to me, that that just goes along yes, with sir. that. Yes, sir. Because the the word is spirit. Yes, sir. The word is truth. Yes, sir. The word. Yeah. The faith comes by the word. The faith comes by the word. Faith comes hearing back and hearing by and hearing the so, word of God, man. Sometimes yeah. you know, I, I use even my uh, sometimes I, I I use the recordings of the scriptures. Sometimes you know, I go to sleep uh, uh, or when I'm praying, I even have the scriptures playing. You know, mm -hmm. I, I've been lately. I've been dealing with the listening to the Bible Experience one. Yeah. You know? Oh man, I like that. You yeah. Know, I, that that brought me a long, long way. Come on. I used to uh, do a lot of traveling. Yes, sir. And, and when I was uh, in the military, and that's all I had on. Uh huh. And I used to uh, Ephesians, Romans, Acts, Galatians. Man, I had that stuff just just playing. Come on. Uh, every time I got in the car, it's just playing and playing and playing. And the the instrumentals in the background, you know, and the sound effects and stuff, right, really helped me pay attention on, to man. it because you know how how uh if you're listening to something it could just like if you're listening to music or right. something it could just it could just be in the background and you really not yeah you hear it but you really don't hear it right you know what i'm saying yeah, no. but the, the 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 bible experience because of the the sound yeah uh and <laughs> and you know the sound effects and and the music and the background and stuff it helped keep you uh, focused on on the word, so yeah. I, I really did like that. And they really brought me a long ways. That yeah. that uh, it helped me. It helped me to uh, get in the word. And matter of fact, you start hearing stuff, uh -huh. you be like, "That's in the Bible." Yeah. <laughs> oh, for me, sometimes it's just that. Yeah, especially uh, so, you. Yeah, I didn't catch that, right? I, I yeah. Mean, then you rewind it and, and, and play it all. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Because one of the things I, and I, and I was going to look it up uh, sometime later, this morning when I was just, I was praying and I was doing something and I was, and I was letting it play on its own while I'm doing my prayer. And I think some, as I was getting ready to go to work, you know, I'm not saying people, I'm going to get deep. I ain't saying you just do that all the yeah. time. I'm just saying is that this is part of my daily part. Uh, and yeah. it was talking about when God told Moses to go back and, and, and bring my people and free them, I, I could have sworn I heard, and I, and, and I wanted to check it out later, that he said he was going to kill his, he, one of the things that God was going to do after heart, uh, Pharaoh's heart is to kill his firstborn son. Yeah. I, I thought what I was thinking, I, and I look like I go, I can read it. Was he describing all the things that he's going to do prior to doing it mm -hmm. when he got to Egypt? Yeah. I was kind of more like he's reacting to whatever the first, you know, the situation is going on, uh, and and that it was the plan about. Well, look, that Joe Hardhead is what we're doing. I'm going to kill the first boy. Uh, and you need to tell them that. But I thought that, you know, it's kind of like reactionary. But mm -hmm. if, if I want to go back and say, did he plan that out? Yeah. Before he showed up. Yeah, huh? he did. Huh? Yeah, he did. He did? Yeah. He, he planned it out. And I'm saying, I didn't yeah. catch that before, brother. I don't know. The core draw theology uh, uh, that God is omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient. So he knows everything. He knows the end from the beginning. That's the biblical quote. Right. So if he knew the info from the beginning, he knew all the details in between as well. So he knew. Okay. When God communicates, he, he communicates for our sake, not for his. Because your heart, it, that's, I guess that's the confidence of being in Christ that you know, if nothing happened to you that he don't know about. Right? 
Right. And then, and, 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 and here the thing about that was, but as it is, I'm getting ready to go back to this Egypt. I already ran away from it 40 years ago. Yeah. And now you gonna tell me that you gonna kill that man's first horse? <laughs> <laughs> and you gonna tell me to tell him? Yep. First boy son? You you know, and, and I and maybe he said, look, because I'm gonna go through all these series of things. I'm gonna bring the flies, I'm gonna bring the net, I'm gonna bring the frog, I'm gonna bring the hailstone, you know, I'm gonna bring the blood and the and, and the water. But Randall, Brother Isaac would have said, you got me when you said hello. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm just yeah. saying, some people yeah. feel like, oh, oh well, uh, hallelujah, <laughs> go. Go do what you got to do. <laughs> I ain't playing with yeah. you. Look, I got an ear to hear. <laughs> Y'all go on and get. <laughs> <laughs> so the other so he knew, but he wanted to tell us, no, that boy hard-headed. I want you to know that boy is hard-headed. He, he gonna, he gonna just harden his heart, he gonna lie. He did lie, didn't he? A couple of times he lied, he said, no, no. Get rid of these frogs, I'm gonna work with you. Time he got rid of them, he started acting up again. Even when his people was telling him, advising him, hey, I think we need to let this, I, hey, my fact, here's another one, brother Adam, uh, Elder. Uh, when the when the, the, the wizards and stuff was trying to replicate things. Yeah, well they were they were trying to God, God showed himself superior than every one of their gods. Well one and of, that's when he just went right on down the list. Yeah. Well one of the scriptures though, did you know that in that in the scripture, listen to the Bible spirit. Yeah. When they couldn't replicate the nets. This I'm just telling you, I'm saying, because they were trying to do the frog, right? Yeah, they did the snake. The water, the snake. But he, he, put the, he said, the next game, they said, man, it's God. We can't do yeah. that. That's God. Yeah. yeah. You, you're dealing with God. Yeah. Uh, you, you, the base is trying to say, I think we need to go ahead and listen. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And they said it. They said, we can't do this. Those nets, yeah. man, those nets was all over the place. The flies. Well, see, the this is this is what I got. He, God convinced all those who were, who he was re conferring with. Right. You know, he, 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 he dealt with each one of them. Yeah. You know, each of his cabinet, all, all his sorcerers and... Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the, the priests for their different gods. He convinced each one of them, yeah. and the last one was Pharaoh. He had to kill his son. And, and then the same about that was surprised that that's, that was in the plan that Moses knew yeah. prior to showing up. And I can imagine Moses saying, then, Well, that man ain't gonna kill me. You go, you know, like you, you think, imagine yourself going somewhere now. If, if you, you know, go well, talk to North Korea. And said, go tell the North Korean man, hey, God said, let my people go. You, and then you'll be like, I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I tell you what, if I had an experience that Moses had. Come on, brother. Come on. I'm looking at a burning bush speaking to me audibly. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll be right over there. Y'all better let my people look. God, he playing with you. Oh, y'all been that playing know. with you. And, and look, and I'm also getting ready to walk out of here. Yeah. I, I, so, you know, you walk out of here, we're going to shoot you. No, you're not. I'm going to even tell you, you're not. You know why? Because he told me, you will not. Yeah. I'm going to go to where I'm staying, and then I'm going to come back. You know what? Matter of fact, I'm coming back because you're going to call me back. You know what I mean? I don't worry. God bled. God gave a man the whole plan. And normally they will kill you. How many times a king or something wouldn't kill you? Kill him. Fall on him, right? Yeah. They didn't do that to that man. They didn't do it. And, they, and they also use Aaron. Remember they said that? He said, Aaron would be, you would be as God to Aaron.
and Aaron will speak on your behalf. Yeah. As I speak to you, you're going to speak to Aaron. And that's the relationship that I have with you, the same relationship you're going to have with Aaron. Until you get bad enough and bold enough to start saying, to get Aaron, this is what the Lord said. Amen? Because he said he couldn't speak. That's what he said. Well, you, know, he, that. you know he was an educated man. Yeah. <laughs> so he, <laughs> God was trying to say, boy, I don't know what you're talking about. You, I, I know you learn, I know you're a learned man. Don't sit there and say, because of 40 years, you, I guess you just talk a little sheep, you forgot to talk. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. now, now here's the other one. Right, by that was a rabbit trail, people. As we played this, I, I probably won't cut it out. I'm gonna just that was a rabbit trail. I, I want to yeah, go cut that back. out. I want to go cut back. All that out. I'm gonna keep that in there. But we'll say that was a mad rabbit trail. Now, the piece I want to throw in there is living daily by faith, people. It's allowed you to confront the thoughts and everything else is coming into your mind daily because you gotta remember everything else is coming into your world, your life daily. Right? You're gonna hear you hear bad news. You're gonna hear you hear yourself. Now, isn't that something you hear yourself? There's some things that you are speaking to yourself that nobody else knows about. But there's got things that nobody else knows about, but he hears it. And be able to speak even to the authority of yourself, because that's what he said, I die daily. I'm crucified with Christ. Yeah. Because there's some things even in my flesh and in my soul that try to bring down the joy of the Lord. That's why I'm saying the purpose of being daily and keeping you know, having a mind of look, oh, having the mind of Christ. Not the mind of Brother Addis or Brother Tell yeah. or Elder Johnson. I need the mind of Christ. And, and I'm saying is that to, to daily live by faith is to understand, if, if you go to these scriptures, that he wants to be with you daily. And there's a benefit of dwelling and being with him daily. So let's look at the scriptures, Brother Addison, because I don't know where Elder's at. I see, I see him in the, I see the back of the room, but I don't see him. Uh, I'm here. I'm, I'm I'm here. Have, uh, you want to read these scriptures for us? Okay. I was trying to pull up on the computer, but okay, here we go. It says Genesis 5 and 24. And Enoch walked with God. He was not, but God took him. Uh-huh. Genesis 3, 8. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. Uh -huh. Matthew 27, 46. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is to say, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? Was that Mark 15, 34? Yeah. At the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which is being interpreted, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? And the last one on here is uh, Hebrews 13, 13, 5. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. You see, see, and the whole purpose of that is to show you Enoch walked with God. Elder, he didn't die. Amen. God took him. Yep. The relationship that God had with Adam and Eve is, hey, I'm coming to walk in God in the cool of the day. Fellowshipping with God. Where you at, Adam? Where you at? I'm coming. I'm, you see what I'm saying is? The relationship. Remember we talked about one time before. God wants a relationship with you. And God wants to walk with you. And Christ walked with God. Christ is our example, is he not? Yeah, he is. And he said is, the day God, he, he ain't never had Jesus talk like that before. Even in the garden, uh, what he when, when was saying is that, nevertheless, you know, you can take this cup. 
Nevertheless, let your will be done. Amen, man. But I am telling you three times, if you can let yourself back. Yes. I, 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 I preach, I, you know, I'll do you. I know you want me to do it, got it. But I'm just, I'm definitely, you know, I don't really want to. Is there another way? I, I, I'll be glad to. <laughs> can, can we do some more research? Yes, I mean, just let you know the humanity of our Lord and Savior that he, he actually was was a man. Yeah. But did, you know that they, did not that did not sin. He had to be a man to fulfill the law. Right. But you know what? You know what? I'm letting you know something. I want to throw something at you. Based on his reaction, when he was saying, let this cup pass, mm -hmm. most people were thinking about whipping, the beating, the nailing to the cross, right? Mm -hmm. Dying, right? Right. Or, this is where my thought come in. Yeah, it's the that's separation. That separation. Elder. That separation. If this cup can be, if, if we can, if we can at least get, you know, he's almost trying to say, I know I gotta die for you. So you know that that's a done deal. That yeah, yeah but that's a done deal. But do you have that's to leave me? Yeah. You have to leave me though? Do you see what I'm saying? I, this for anybody listening to this video, I'm saying is that God, Jesus is trying to say is the most important thing to remember is that he will never leave you nor forsake you. And he knows the pain of that because he said that's not to happen. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. But what, what he's saying is so maybe that God, when he was sweating that blood, brother, is the fact that there will be a separation. I believe, I believe that because I often say, uh, you, if, if you can think back to that puppy love. Uh huh. Oh yeah, come on. I now. mean, everything, everything in you was to stay connected to the point that I remember. I mean, folks don't remember having that cord on that phone, on and now. you <laughs> you laid up in bed and y'all just breathe. Ain't saying nothing. Yeah. Just to hear them breathing and knowing they on the other side of that phone. Come on. Because now. you you got that love for them so much. Yeah. Yeah. But when that separation came, when y'all broke up, uh -huh. how it just destroyed your life. That's my man for the first love. And that was just puppy love. Yeah. You know what? Are you talking about being separated from uh -huh. love itself? Come on, brother. So you magnify that puppy love to infinity and beyond. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It and, and, and it's just unimaginable. Yeah. The 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 the, the tearing of the soul and the spirit. You know, I, I can I can imagine that is the reason for the blood being, you know, coming through this man's pores. Yeah. Right. Realize. Right. And look at this, brother Addison. Look at the difference between the parable you gave and what Jesus had to deal with was you were talking about definitely a breakup and no return. He knew that it was only for a brief moment. Yeah. For a moment, maybe three days. I don't know when. When? when no, when, he wasn't what? in time, so it, it could have been like, you know, for the blink of an eye for him. You think of what I'm saying is, but in that blink, my God, my God, yeah, woo, no, no, you can, you can take, you can take <laughs> you can take you from me. You know what I mean? Well, let me let me correct that. It wasn't the blink of an eye. Because he stepped in to be for a moment. Yeah. Because course. he did say, you know, why have you that's forsaken me? Yeah. Yeah. And then it was a little time after yeah. that he gave up the ghost. Right. And remember saying he said, No man take my life. Yeah, I and, give it up. And I'll take it back up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My point I'm saying is the difference between the analogy of a two lovers ending their relationship yeah with the possibility of no reconnect what i'm saying with jesus knew there would be like you said for a moment but in that moment to him it, 
second, you know, like a computer, a second is almost like eternity. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's irrelevant in time. Is the fact is that he was in time, and while he was in time, there was a moment, a brief moment, three days could be, or, or whatever it needed for him to die, because he went and preached in, he reached and preached in hell. So I think there was a yeah. reconnection back to God, you know. But the point is, maybe not, I don't know. But the bottom line is it was only, let's say three days, we'll go with that. It still was hard for that, that period of time that he had to say, my God, my God, why you to say Why I'm saying that? Because we want to sit there, we deal daily. Is that we want to have that daily walk with God as he as we confront things in life. Is to have that daily walk. Now, the other piece of that, Brother Addison, is that you have yourself that you live with, I do, daily. And 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 I I think we you know we talk about how the church people assess us, but you know there's a lot of other we we do a lot of assessing of ourselves on our own, don't yeah. Because we have little we have our own still got quirks. We got a lot of quirks that we have, you, and, and it's not even somebody else's business, but it's still your business. Mm -hmm. And you have them, and sometimes you slip, sometimes you slip from. You know, you you, 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 slip, you can slip up in cars, you can slip up and, and uh, uh, get drunk, you know. Uh, you, you, can, you can make mistakes, whether it's a technical mistake, whether it was a moral mistake, uh, but we make mistakes, you know. But one of the things on that daily, and I'll get a script and I want you to read this, and we can go through it, You get, we can go through it a little bit at a time, but let, let's look at that because I want somebody by walking daily. It's just these. This is one of my favorite passages. You know, you've seen it many times. I brought up, so, but but it's one of my favorite. Uh, read that for us. Romans eight one. Yes, sir. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Yes. Romans 8, 2. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus what? has made me free what? from the law of sin and death. What? 8, 3. For what the law could not do, what? In that it was weak through the flesh. God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. Yes. And for sin, Right? Condemn sin in the flesh. Yes. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. Come on. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Yes. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Well. They that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Right. For to be carnally minded it is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Uh huh. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. Right. For it is not subject to the law of God. Neither indeed can be. Can be. And you know, the reason I'm saying I like that was the first piece there, because a lot of us, our flesh, we, as a group and as individuals, have this condemnation challenge. 